Next, we will explain the second part, the basic defensive posture of Wu Shu Bing Dao. The first is the upper defense. The upper defense skills divide into forehand posture and the backhand posture. Let's explain the difference in the forehand posture first. The forehand posture is to hold the weapon horizontally above the head to prevent attack from the upper part, also called defense based on blocking. At the same time, the waist in the middle section need to be loosened. But when doing upper defense, your core cannot be loose. Otherwise, your movements will be stuck and it will lead to flaws. Therefore, when defending in the upper section, the waist should be sink, and the center points was between the feet, or you could put the force back underground. At the same time, your weapon does not have to be horizontal, and you can tilt it a little to defend. Forehand posture. The following explains the upper defense in the backhand posture. In the backhand posture, the hand holding the weapon should be at 45 degrees diagonally above the inside of the body. The end of the handle be up. The shoulder joint should be rotating slightly. The rear foot as the point of force. The backhand posture is different from the forehand posture. It will have a process of rotation to the inside. But meanwhile, the center of gravity needs to maintain stable, sit between the legs, and slightly brace forward. Brace the defense of the other side. The waist joint must be braced, turned over to block the attack from the opponent. Also, like the forehand stance, the weapon can be angled. Not this way, but only this way. The upper part of the defense is finished, and the following is the middle part of the defense. Blocking on the left.
stopping on the left. It's similar to defending on the right forehand. The wrist should not be loose. The center of gravity should be between the feet, and the upper part of the body should be very relaxed. At the same time, there is a slight rotation of the wrist joint, which can prevent a reverse dislocation of wrist joint. So I need to rotate to the outside. The weapon is slightly pulled back from the 45 degree oblique front. When doing the midsection block, the glutes, the stride must not deform. The center of gravity must be sitting between the feet. Internal lattice block. The following is an introduction to blocking on the right side. Stopping on the right side requires standing still. The right arm is slightly rotated 45 degrees to the outside. The wrist and arm are rotated 45 degrees outside. When blocking outside, place a void. Using your big arm to move directly outward. Otherwise, there will be flaws. And your opponents will attack you. So please avoid using your big arm to block outwards. Please pay attention that the big arm should move back close to the body, so it is necessary to rotate 45 degrees. to reduce the opponent's attack through the breath. Because it is easy to be attacked if the breath comes bigger, so clench the big arm when blocking. with the explanation of blocking in the middle. We move on to the defense against the lowest part,
外接。We will start with the 内挂 A blocking defense position to defend against the opponent's lower attack. It's important to note that. The wrist joint must maintain forceful. Should not be loose and should not be reversed. This is the reversed position. When the opponent hits your weapon simultaneously, your wrist joint will be very vulnerable to injury. So the wrist joint must maintain forceful. Will inward rotation to let the wrist suspended once. And the process of unloading force. Forming Nei Gua posture. The following will explain the outward stop. The outward block. Requires a lower center of gravity. Because if you do not lower your center of gravity. When your opponent hit the front of your weapon, you will not be able to defend yourself. If your opponent hits your weapon, he will also hit the practical part of your leg. So need to keep your center of gravity low. And let the back half of your weapon do the defensive blocking. Another technique for lower defense is dodging. Your front leg need to be quickly draw back. Lift it back. The primary defensive posture of Wushu Bingdao is planned. 